Travify's professional invoicing feature streamlines the payment process by allowing you to create and send polished invoices to clients securely, collect card details through an authorization form, and use those payment details to pay your suppliers. It's built to simplify how you collect payments, enhance your transparency, and keep everything neatly organized in one place. To get started, you'll want to select one of your trips, select the Add New button, and then select Invoice. From here, you'll be on the Supplier Invoice page, and you can start to input your details. If you have any prices that you've included in your itinerary proposal, you can select which itinerary you would like to have an invoice auto-populated from. From there, select Auto-Populate Invoice, this is going to take all the events that I've attached a price to and total everything up for me. You can input additional descriptions as well if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and add a description here. And once done, you can continue on down the line. If you need to adjust the quantity, you can do this as well. For instance, let's say the baseball game price needs to be doubled because two travelers are going to that game. We can go ahead and click the arrow to up the quantity, or you can always delete it out and type in the specific quantity that you want to have. From there, this price is going to be multiplied by two and it's going to add that price down below. If you need to add additional line items, you can always select add item and then you can manually input the items yourself. Let's go ahead and put in an Airbnb deposit. We'll have the quantity as one and we'll select the price as $150. To the right, you're also going to notice that you can select what type of currency you'd like to have this listed in. For today, we'll leave it as USD. To the right, you'll see a dollar sign. Selecting this allows you to add in commission details. You can learn more about this in our Commission Getting Started Guide video. As you scroll further down, if you would like only the total amount versus every specific line item, you can choose to only display total. If you'd like to allow your clients to pay on a payment schedule, you can select the box Use Payment Schedule. Let's go ahead and input some details. I'm going to allow my clients to pay in two installments. I'm going to select Add Installment, and before I decide to add in those specific details, first things first, let's put in a description. Then we can select our due date, and we can also decide the specific amounts that we want to have installed. For this first one, I'm going to put $150, and I'm going to change that due date to August 3rd. Now let's move on to the second installment. You can put in as many installments as you'd like, but for simplicity, we'll stick to two today. Just as before, we'll put in a description. We'll select a due date. And now, as you can see, we need to make sure that this totals correctly. We only have 150, so now we need to add in the rest. Now you can see that it totals properly. As I scroll down below, you'll notice where you can add in your own terms and conditions, which I recommend putting in, and you can also attach as many documents as you need. Before sending, you can also preview the invoice page that your clients are going to see. Let's go ahead and select preview up at the top. And here is what your client is going to see. They'll be able to see their remaining balance, everything that they've authorized so far, as well as each individual line item. They'll be able to see their payment schedule if you are including a payment schedule, and they'll be able to see what their next payment they can choose to authorize. Back on this page, whenever you're done previewing and you're ready to send this off to a client, select the send option. And from here, put in everybody you need to pay this invoice. I'm going to put in a client's name. You can choose to CC yourself and you can also include a custom message if you would like. Now that we've sent this invoice off, we can go to the recipients area and we can see when this was sent. And if we need, we can always resend it to this individual. We'll also be able to see when they've last viewed it. An important thing to note here, that in order to stay within PCI compliance, once an invoice has been sent to a client, it cannot be edited. So please make sure that you have everything in there that you need before sending it off. Here is what your client is going to receive to their email.
If you've included a custom message, it will show right here and they'll be able to select view invoice. As you can see, here's what the invoice page is going to look like. They can see the remaining balance that is due, those line items, as well as the payment schedule. They can choose which payment they want to authorize and if they want to move on to any next payments. You'll also notice a custom amount option. If they want to put money towards an amount a little earlier before the deadline, they can. For instance, this is due on August 3rd, and if they want to pay 100 towards this, they can go ahead and choose custom amount, enter in that amount, and from there, add in their payment method. As you can see, we're now authorizing that $100 custom amount we put in, some guard details, and they can sign off on this. They'll select Authorize, and once done, here is what the invoice page will look like. We can see the total that we've authorized so far, which is that $100. You can see the remaining balance that's due, and we can move on to any additional payments. In addition to all of that, your clients are going to receive a PDF confirmation of their authorization, and then you as the advisor will receive an email letting you know that you've received an authorization. Now let's go ahead and go right back to the trip we were working on. As you can see, when I select authorizations, we can see that 100 out of that 150 has been authorized and 50 is remaining. And that second installment hasn't been authorized. If we want to put down the status of whether this was paid, we can mark it as paid, partial charge, expired, or we can choose to download a PDF. Let's go ahead and mark as paid. And now you can see that the status has changed to charged. And that's it. That's how you can utilize the invoicing feature in Travify. So you are no longer having to juggle multiple tools or chase down payments. It's simple, secure, and built right into your workflow. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out to our team at professional at Travify.com and make sure to check out the rest of our getting started guide videos in our learning center.